Hello, welcome to Cooking with the Grandkids. I'm Ann Sylvia, and I'm here with my granddaughter, Aviana. And we are at the Fairhaven Council on Aging. And we are going to do a special Christmas show. Silly. Uh, we're going to make a couple of things put that we... No, you nothing. put it on. No, you, you wear it. No, you, you can wear it. It's for you. Okay. Um, we're going to make Very a couple of nice Christmas stuff. Things that we make every year, we are going to make some Scottish Scotch tots, and we're going to make um, a cute little mouse in a Rice Krispie bed. That's a fun thing to do if you've got kids on your Christmas list that you just need, you know, a little something for. So we're going to start with the Scottish tots first, okay? So this yeah, cookie, cookie book. yes, we need to go to page 101, okay? But I want to I want to talk about this, this used to be? Aunt Nancy, and I'm going to tell you about Aunt Nancy. My Aunt Nancy um, is from Nantucket, and my mom was from Nantucket. She's married to she was married to my mother's brother, and um, when she was in her late 60s, she lost her sight, and she was just the most active person. She could do anything. So creative and talented, and um, she was a great cook. And when she lost her sight, she found it, it was hard to follow recipes and whatnot in regular books. So she wrote a cookbook, a large print cookbook called Nancy's Large Print Cookbook for uh, visually um, impaired folks. And it's, I mean, it's, it's quite large print. So um, I'm fortunate to have a copy of this. It is out of print and um, which is unfortunate because a lot of people would, um, probably benefit from this. Uh, but one of the recipes in this book was her famous scotch tots. And we're going to make that today. You're going to help me? Can you put your notes away so we can oh be busy? You know what I said? Okay. So to make the scotch tots, we're going to use, and it's the simplest thing, your simplest cookie you'll ever make. We're going to use um, pie crust. It's not going to be a pie, it's going to be cookies. Oh, I like cookies. So we'll just start with one. You can get about 12 tots to a, um, dough? To a dough, yep. Can I play that dough? No, we can't play with it. Uh, we're going to, we're going to make cookies with it. So we're going to put, a, we've got a clean counter and we're going to put a little flour down so yeah. that the pie crust doesn't stick. Yeah. You want me some? Mm. All right. Can I take some of yours? We're going to just put this down and we'll hey, just kind of stretch it out a little bit. You can roll it out with a pin if you want. Mm -hmm. And leave it out for a little while before you use it because if it's cold, you won't be able to do anything with it. So just stretch it out like this a little bit, okay? There you go. So we're going to use, I don't have, if you have a, like a two inch um, cookie cutter, round cookie cutter, that's what you would use. I don't have that here. So I'm just going to use my, the top to a, um, a jar that I have here. And we're going to just keep cutting them out close as you can because you want to be able to get at least 12. Now, if you have a top pin, that's ideal. I don't have one. So I'm going to use my uh, mini cupcake pin. And I'm going to spray it. Mostly you just want the top because you're not going to push these into the cupcake. You're just going to set them on top like this and oh, just give it a little this is my, this is my pizza. And just a little um, push in there. So, you know, you don't want to go all the way down with it, but just make a little well so it will hold the filling pretty good. I'm going to skip. I'm going to kind of do every other one so they don't touch. Like that. And then this one can go in here. Does this look good one? Yeah, that's awesome. So we have our little tots nope. ready to go oh, in the pan. Oh, so good. now we have to make what's going to go can't in them. This it looks like a moon. It does look like a moon. We'll, we'll bake it like that, okay? You can put some sprinkles on it. Yeah. We're going to make a little filling. We're going to use some sugar. We need a cup of sugar. And I have that right here. 
That's good. A cup of sugar. We need um, four tablespoons of butter. Make sure it's room temperature butter because um, it's got to be pliable or you're not going to get anywhere with it. These are all mine, so you can have this one and then you can oh, have mine. Oh, thank you. So we'll whisk this together. I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to go in with my fingers. This isn't going to work. Um, all right, so we'll work, work this out, and then um, to this, we're going to add a couple of eggs. You got to, Evie. It won't, it, the eggs act like the glue. It sticks it all together. Okay, now let's see if we can get it. Oh, here we go. There we go. And um, to this, we are also going to add a teaspoon um, it, it calls for two teaspoons of almond extract. I'm going to, I just go with one because it's pretty strong. Um, so I'll just use a capful. That's about a teaspoon, right? Yeah, that's true. All right. And keep that going like this. And now we're going to add some walnuts to it. Walnuts? I'm allergic to walnuts. Is there anything you're not allergic to? I'm allergic to... Two. Are you allergic to? No. <laughs> no. Ice cream is my favorite. I know you love ice cream. Wait, wait. are you putting ice cream in there? No. No uh, ice cream. Can't put ice cream in anything that goes in the oven. So we're gonna need about two cups of chopped walnuts. Yay! My frosty is falling. It's gonna get cooked. Boy, oh boy. Did you have like extra sugar snack today uh, at school or what? Yes. What did you have for a snack? Um, peanut butter and eggshells. Um, and what else? Eggshells. <laughs> that must have been crunchy. And, and grandma. we're going to. Hey, old grandma. Evie, please don't hurt my feelings. Oh. I'm not that old. Then how old are you? That's a secret. 29. She is 29. Yeah. So that means she's old, right? No. Yeah. Then okay. So now listen, are you going to help me or are you going to yak over here? We're going to put some jam, some raspberry jam from the Dollar Tree. It calls for a teaspoon. You can really I, don't want to do more than a, can, can yeah, just, here. You don't want to do more than a tea, look that much, Evie. Because um, when you get it in the oven, it melts and just goes up the sides, and you lose like half this? of it if you put too much. A little bit more than that. This yeah, is going to be that's, the That's step. as much as you want to put in there. Mm. No, no, we're going to make a mouse bed later. After this? Yes, yes. Yeah. After this. Yeah, yeah. We got to make two things in a row. Two things. Two fun Christmas things. We can make the um, little mouse in, in his little bed for your friends at school. Oh, yeah. Okay. How many kids do I have for school? Nine. nine kids. Yeah, nine kids in Miss Ron Hawk's class. Way to go to school, Evie. What? Way to go to school. St. Joseph's school? Yeah. Where, where do you think I go? You pick me up. I know. How do you know where I go? <laughs> I know. I know that you go there. I just wanted you to tell everybody oh, where you go. This old grandma. <laughs> oh, God. This, okay. We're going to put a, about a teaspoon of the filling into the um, the nuts. and About a teaspoon will do. Teaspoon? Right. Is it like teaspoon. a teaspoon? Teaspoon. Oh, my God. You Can you say spoon? You don't even Not foon. All right. Almost done with this. See how fast this is? I mean, what's simpler than this? And they're so good. Okay, so I made It's frosty. something about that pie I crust. I frosty. Frosty the snowman. Okay. So I better leave him because he's going to get... Are you going on a field trip tomorrow? Yeah. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. I know. I just want you to tell... Everybody, where you're going tomorrow? Fine. I'm gonna go to two places. Two? Yep. Where? I know of one. Um, what is it? I forgot. I 
radio station. Five station is number two if you're going to a water park. I don't think you're going to a water park tomorrow. Uh, no. Nah. We're, we're going to a walk to nature. You're going to walk? Oh, a nature walk? Yeah. That's, that'll be fun. This I is going in the oven, 350 I, for about, I what is it? Um, about 20 minutes. So, okay. Come on. oh my gosh, there's enough pie dough on this floor. Giddy up, giddy up. All right, giddy and it up, goes. Giddy. I'll be a horse. Say nay. <laughs> nay for horse. Nay for not horse. Calm yourself, girl. Calm down. I have plenty of um, filling. Um, you can freeze it if if you need if you end up with too much. But I only did one pie dough too, so that's why I have so much left over. For many years, I have lot. I have lots of and he kids. Can't this. Yes, you got into it. Look, um, I have lots of neighborhood kids and, and just young kids in my life. And I just always like to get them some, give them something at Christmas, um, usually some kind of a treat. And I saw this on Pinterest and it was, it's the cutest thing. So if you have a child in your life that you want just to do something special for, this is really cute. When we're done, it's going to be a little mouse. <laughs> you sugar it up. A little mouse in a little bed um, with a little Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. I okay. Like that. So I think oh. what we should do first is let's get those, let's, let's get the let's trees. Let's get the mouse first. Let's get the trees done first so that can they can be in the fridge. Tree for me, me, me. I'm not good at I'll it. do the tree. I have to um, microwave this. I'll be right back. All right. So to make our little trees, I'm going to, um, I'm going to use, uh, this can you just clean a lollipop stick. I used to, I was using, um, pretzels, but when you put them, we're going to, you know, put it in the cake, the pretzel got soft. No, it's chocolate. I'm just going to put a little drop of oil in it. Just a little, a little tiny, teeny splash just to loosen it up. About that much, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And snip a tiny little hole here. So we're going to lay our stick down and just go with like sort of a back and forth motion um, for the tree, for the tree branches. And as you get to the top, just get a, you know, go a little narrower with it. Make kind of a point at the top. And fill it in. So there's one little tree. And I'm going to do a little tree for you too, for yours, because we're each going to do a cake. You think you can handle that, Ev? Yeah, I guess. You can do it. Squeeze it a little bit. And go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the way up to the tippity top. Make a little point. Can I just taste one frosted? Give me a finger. This one, Dad. Okay. We have to decorate it, what? right? So oh, that the decorations will stick. Wow, you ate a lot of these candy canes. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry. Okay. You can put them, decorate the... No, decorate the tree with them. <laughs> you ate enough. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, look, yeah. look, watch me. There you go. Just give it a little press so it will stick. Okay. And we have, look, we've got some snowflakes. We can put some snowflakes on it. Sprinkle some, sprinkle that on. And how about just some white and make it look like snow? Oh, look at it. It's all sh shimmery. Go ahead, sprinkle it on. Okay, that's, that's fine. A little bit down here. Okay. Now in the fridge. Be careful. Okay. I'm going to gobble them up. I'm going to gobble them up. All right, so now we can work on the cake and get the cake ready for, um, for the little mouse. 
This is just box cake. We want a flat surface, so we're going to take the cake and just flip it upside down. Put it just like that. Here's your cake. Yay, it's my okay. birthday! We're gonna, this is what we're going to use as the base, so we have to give it a little frosting. Um, because we want it to look like a little rug. Okay? Because this little cake is actually going to be a bedroom for the little mouse. His little bed's going to be in here. So take some frosting and do this, okay? To your cake. Go ahead. Frost yours. Um, yeah. I'm going to frost mine. Just a little bit of frosting across the top. And then we can sprinkle it with whatever to make a little pattern on the rug. Okay? Can I put some decoration on the rug? Yep, yep. And I'm going to kind of go around the sides a little bit. All right, so what are you going to use for um, for, the, for the rug? Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to use... Sprinkle it around, though, okay? Don't just put it in one spot. you got to sprinkle it all over. Okay. Well, that's good. Nini's going to use... Um, I think I'm going to use this one, okay? My and we're going to just give it a little color. All right, so now we got our bedrooms ready. Now we have to work on our little mouse in his little bed. Can you just make the bed and the mouse for me? Yeah, you can, you're going to help me too. I'll be right back. I'm getting the chocolate. Okay, we're going to add a little oil to this too, just to thin it out a little bit. Just like, you know, maybe a quarter to half a teaspoon. And mix it right in. All right. That's good. You just want to get it nice and that melted. That is the mouse. And nice and smooth. This is his now bed. Now listen, this is going to be his bed. And you know what we're going to use for his bed? <gasps> My favorite. <laughs> Rice Krispie treat. My favorite. So we're going to cut a piece off about this big for one bed. And this is the other bed. So my bed and your bed. This could be mine for eating. Oh gosh, please don't eat any more sugar. We're going to want to cover this about three quarters with the red. So I'm just going to kind of paint it on. Um, you don't have to do the bottom because it's going to be on the uh, frosting side of the cake. So we're just painting this on like this. It's going to go in the fridge because we need it to cool and harden like this. So this is the little bedspread for the bed. Grandma. Do you want to um, put a decoration on it? Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm going to put Christmas trees on mine. Okay. That's the pattern for the little bedspread. Look, isn't that cute? And I'm going to need some white, a little tiny bit of white chocolate. And I and use almond block for that. I'm just going to Use one little block like this because you only need a little tiny bit to do the pillow. What you gonna do? Okay, very good. And I'm gonna just go melt this. All right, so now we have the white chocolate melted, so we can make our little pillow. So we're just gonna dip the uh, the other end of the chocolate and coat it with white, so it looks like a little pillow. I didn't say it was the um, neatest <laughs> project in the world. Okay. <laughs> All right. They look so cute. Here we go. So our little um, beds are ready. I took them, out of, put them in the fridge just to get the, the um, chocolate to harden up a little bit. I'm going to put mine right here. Now we got to get a mouse to put in this bed. How do you make a mouse? Is it a real mouse? We're only going to use his head. Oops. You can use a little almond um, for the little mouse's head, which I'll do, and I'll, and I'll do um, a Tootsie Roll um, too, wait. because sometimes, you know, if you've got kids with nut allergies, we need to give him some ears. And what I would usually use for his ears is maybe um, I used slivered almonds 
but I don't have any. I didn't bring any. So let me work the Tootsie Roll a little bit here. Look, shape them like a little mouse ear. Look how cute. Let's see if we can stick it on with some of the white chocolate. Oh my gosh, isn't he cute? Yeah. Oh my gosh, isn't he cunning? Now listen, we got to give him some eyes. So I'm just going to use um, this end of this popsicle stick. If you have a toothpick, that would be good. Two little sleepy eyes. See his little eyes sleepy like that? Just two little, his little eyes are closed. So just a little tiny line. A little tiny you nose. Didn't give me a, roll. a little teeny nose. A little Look, ugly nose. Just a little round nose. I'm going to get him this time. Right there. See, guys. Oh, look. I'm past my bedtime, so I need a little rest. Oh, I now. can't wait for your bedtime. Why? <laughs> Do you want me to be, go to sleep? Go to sleep like that little mouse. Yes, just like that little mouse. And I sleep with that cozy mouse. And I'm going to cuddle up with him. And... He is cute. Good. I just really want to eat this. Hey, we have one more thing now. We have to put the tree in. There we go. And there is the little mouse in his bed. So we, we have a cute little stock in that we made with some red chocolate that we can just put at the foot of his bed. He's waiting for Santa. Can I make Santa? And there's our cute little mice in, in, the, in his little bed. All right, and I got some scotch tots coming out in a minute. No. My buddy bailed on me, but we have our um, scotch tots ready here. Some of them didn't make it, and some of them did, so let's see. Ooh, they're really hot. Make, make sure that you wait until they're a little cool um, before you try to take them out because that jam is really hot. So they're really simple. I mean, what's easier than taking a box of pie crust and making some um, nice raspberry jam tots. So that's our holiday show for, um, for December. And we hope that you have a very wonderful, happy holiday. And we will see you in January. Thank you. Thank you.